Hello and welcome to Dedicated Dentist 32 Reasons Why. This is Faryal. So in this video, we'll talk about LH class 3 fracture and its treatment modalities. Many students get confused uh, if there is an open apex or closed apex, if it's a vital teeth or non-vital tooth. So I'm going to clear your doubt. So we get an LAQ like this, this child, 10-year-old child who met with an accident and fractures, fractures his anterior teeth anterior tooth so write about the possible treatment options so uh, you have to bear this in mind this is very important the anterior teeth they erupt at about six to seven years of age okay so it takes um, six, six to seven years you have to keep this in mind uh, it is when the anterior teeth erupt around this age okay and as a matter of fact it takes about two and a half to three years for the completion of root closure okay so uh, in the um, uh, first in young permanent tooth uh, the apex is open whereas it, it takes about two and a half three years to complete the closure of the apex so now we have to assume this first before starting with the answer we have to justify answer that the child is 10 year old so there's this chance that um, the apex is closed we know that this is a 10 year old he's a 10 year old child and that their apex is closed so we are going to write the two possibilities we have two possibilities the tooth or pulp could can be vital or it could be non-vital so if vital then we are going to provide the vital pulp therapies it could be dpc civex also called shallow or partial pulpotomy and other pulpotomies partial or comp uh, complete pulpotomy and if it is a non-vital tooth then we are going to perform rct now there's this another case say the child is six to seven year old we know that the in six to seven year old the apex is open it can be blunderbuss or non-blunderbuss again we have two possibilities there's open case uh, the tooth can be vital or non-vital if vital then we are going to provide the vital pulp therapies direct pulp pepping civex but we perform civex or partial pulpotomy one week post fracture or other pulpotomies if it is an open case or open apex case with non-vital teeth here we are going to perform apexification because here the op apex is open and we have to induce a barrier here we have to artificially close we have to induce closure of apex hence we are going to perform apexification apexification we give mta uh, and after mta placement there is osteosymptom like mass formed there Another very important thing, we perform direct pulp capping in permanent teeth only and not primary teeth. Well, this is examiner's favorite question as to why we not do DPC in per, uh, primary teeth or uh, deciduous dentition. Well, the reason is because there are undifferentiated cells found in primary tooth. Okay, And because of calcium hydroxide, uh, there's this um, differentiation of these cells and they form odontoclast and cause the internal resorption. So there's differentiation and formation of odontoclast and thus they cause internal resorption. Now, if you write about these points in your LAQ, that will get you extra marks about the choice of treatment. So the time elapsed, uh, the choice of our treatment will depend on the time that is elapsed between exposure and treatment. The diameter or extent of exposure, the help of the pulp before trauma, age of the tooth, concomitant luxation injury and the stage of root development now there are other important viva questions that are asked uh, we already discussed about dpc then there's this other one mta over calcium hydroxide now why we prefer mta over calcium hydroxide as our pulp dressing agent well because in mta we do not require complete removal of the blood uh, prior to the placement because a little moisture from the uh, blood will help in the curing of the material right so that was all about it also partial pulpotomy is advantageous to us as the vitality is maintained and if the patient comes or on his subsequent visits we can check for the vitality and ensure that our treatment is has a good prognosis so that was all about vital pulp therapies or uh, treatment modalities uh, for more videos on pulp therapies, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I hope you like the video. Thank you.